What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. And let me just say, my favorite part of Chantal's cycle is maybe one of the most underrated parts. And it's this one right here. Because understand, Chantal is not uploaded in over a week. So I would imagine she's going to get paid next week. She probably logged in, checked her analytics, and saw that her income was greatly impacted by her doing less videos and more live streams. So rather than do what YouTube tells us to do, which is get back on track, be consistent with your content, put videos out on a schedule, listen to your audience, she panics and she thinks putting out two videos back to back is going to fix everything. It's going to be double the income in a single day. Chantal, that has not worked. That will never work. All it does is ensure that no one really watches the travel video, which ironically enough is the longer of the two videos. So it would generate more from an embedding ad standpoint. And it likely was the more costly of the two to film. Now I understand the eating videos, the mukbangs, they kind of kill two birds with one stone. First, they generate income, but second, they satisfy her desires to overindulge. But as I've covered in prior videos, the views on these have went way down, more so because she continues to go in and out of health arcs. And as you would expect, this is her first meal of the day. She was craving something home cooked or in her words, homey. And when she's home, she never really cooks. When she's away, she wants home cooked food. Chantal, it's cravings, okay? And, and that's okay. You can tell us that you have cravings for food, which is pretty obvious, and that you eat whatever it is that you're craving so long as you can get it. We saw you last week eat something that fell on the floor of a hotel room. So if you have this illusion that we feel you're particular about home-cooked taste or the quality of something, you're, you're sadly mistaken. As a matter of fact... You pick your nose and then eat. You have this faux outrage about portion size. And she even edits this to put more complaints in about the meal. And this instantly brought me back to the, you know, uh, no, 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 no theatrics she did. Getting the wrong soup, the lentil soup rather than the tomato soup before she left on this visa run. I mean vacation. I mean trip. I mean Sal is going to be there next week. And she had mentioned during that time she was watching Locale Live a lot. And I think what's happened here is she's seen how people respond and react to Boogie kind of having these very dramatic theatrics about normal things. And I think that she tries to emulate those moments with food. And she feels like that's going to give her the next viral moment. She says that, of course, she must have gotten the wrong order because it could never be Chantal's inability to order something incorrectly in a country that she doesn't understand the language. She has a soda that she can't open. Chantal, you're in a hotel. Call the front desk. I'm sure they have a bottle opener. Of course, she has garlic bread to go with the meal. I wonder if she ever thinks of my channel every time she orders garlic bread. And then, of course, it's the complaints of how small this portion is. She tries to offset that by saying, well, it's so rich. That's why they gave her such a small portion. It's likely, you know, quality ingredients. And we can't look at Chantal and think that she cares about quality over quantity. I mean, we've seen her eat eight straight hot dogs from a 7-Eleven out of a microwaved plastic bag with a toothpick. But her response to seeing a normal portion of food it is always rather shocking. And of course, with this comes the whole, you know, when I get home, I'm going to be making all my food. And she has said this over and over. If you remember the last time, she ordered a hat. She ordered an apron. She was showing off all the pots and pans Sala ordered. I imagine Sala probably ordered a whole bunch of Dutch ovens for her to use. Then, obviously, she realizes that when she gets home, she can't stop eating the ingredients fast enough to make a meal. She doesn't have the patience to wait for anything to cook. And if she does somehow manage to do both of those, she creates such a large portion that she eats and gets sick. 
it, it literally is like the worst of every world. She says that she's been feeling a lot better, but she thinks she was just homesick before. So Sala, Sala actually told her to go buy the skincare she wanted, but apparently told her she could only buy sample sizes or trial sizes, travel sizes. Who knows? And of course, as a foodie, she says this is, quote, yum. And I've noticed that she wraps her tongue around the spoon in ways I've never seen someone eat. And despite being alone, you know, hoards this food very close to her, very protective of the food. And of course, as we all could have told you, she needs a rest day. I mean, after all, what a grueling trip to the mall. Not one, but two taxi rides. She says that her wash needs to be done, and she just lusts over the food. She says when she gets home, she needs to remember how much she needs to cook, as if, you know, food is somehow not always going to be on her mind. And she wants to start reading again, something other than takeout menus, I would imagine. And this brings up 20-year-old stories of her begging her mother to buy books, how she would get pumpkin spice lattes and read in a coffee shop, how fast her grandmother would read. She said she isn't mad about the wrong order, and she isn't able to discern the type of cheese they used as a foodie. She says that the smaller portion made it, quote, healthy, but a few more bites would have been nice. Okay, so this last part I want to be careful with because there are two sides to it. Number one, if you order something to go, and this has happened to her in the past, There are times it's going to default to no cutlery unless you actually go and check the box and say, yes, I need cutlery because they likely assume you're going to be having it at home. I don't know if that's what happened here, but outside of that, Chantal's obsession with single use cutlery, single use items is astonishing. Of all the junk that she's ordered from Amazon, from Timu, do you really think she's never had a recommended item such as travel cutlery, telescoping fork. I mean, the fact that she comes online proclaiming to be a foodie and has really nothing continually with her other than her flippers to eat, the fact that we've seen her eat using a back scratcher, I don't understand why she can't take the very, very small step to buy telescoping cutlery, travel cutlery set, something where she knows, hey, When I'm out and about, I don't have to worry about this. As much as we've seen her eat on camera, she is still clearly ordering meals. We never see them filmed. She's likely embarrassed. Trash is piling up in the room. So other than that, that's pretty much it. I'm going to leave you with the top comments from the last video. I appreciate you watching this one. You know I'll be back soon as I can with more commentary.